It is game day for the Spurs who will face off with the Lakers tonight for the third and final time this regular season. The Lakers lead the series two games tonight. The Spurs started off their five game road trip by beating the Clippers 116 to 113. Rookie Devin Vassell was the first Spur off the bench and he responded by scoring 12 points. He is ready for the challenge. I mean, I wouldn't say a different mindset. I mean, at the end of the day, I just got to be ready whenever my number is called. Um, today was a day where, you know, like you said, it was my first time coming off the bench, the first person coming off the bench, and, you know, just got to stay ready. Um, being in the gym and, and working and having great vets and great coaches who believe in you, it makes it easy. All right, we're going to interrupt uh, Larry for just a few minutes. We're going to head over to uh, ABC's coverage of a live event with uh, President-elect Joe Biden. He is announcing his new attorney general nominee. As well as we're talking about the attorney general's office. And so I'll have plenty of time to ask the questions I know you desperately want to ask about everything from the 25th Amendment on. But I'm not going to speak to that today. I want this to be the issue that we focus on, because I think it's so important. Yesterday, in my view, one of the darkest days in the history of our nation, an unprecedented assault on our democracy, an assault literally on the citadel of liberty in the United States Capitol itself, an assault on the rule of law, an assault on the most sacred of American undertakings, ratifying the will of the people and choosing the leadership of their government. All of us here grieve the loss of life, grieve the desecration of the people's house. But we, what we witnessed yesterday was not dissent, it was not disorder, it was not protest, it was chaos. They weren't protesters. Don't dare call them protesters. They were a riotous mob, insurrectionists, domestic terrorists. It's that basic, it's that simple. And I wish we could say we couldn't see it coming. But that isn't true. We could see it coming. The past four years, we've had a president who's made his contempt for our democracy, our Constitution, the rule of law, clear in everything he has done. He unleashed an all-out assault on our institutions of our democracy from the outset. And yesterday was but the culmination of that unrelenting attack. He's attacked the free press, who dared to question his power, repeatedly calling the free press the enemy of the people. Language, at the time he first used it, I and others said, has long been used by autocrats and dictators all over the world to hold on to power, the enemy of the people. Language that is being used now by autocrats and dictators across the world, only this time with the imperator of an outgoing president of the United States of America. He's attacked our intelligence services, who dared tell the American people the truth about the effort of a foreign power to elect him four years ago, choosing instead to believe the word of Vladimir Putin over the word of those who've sworn their allegiance <coughs> to this nation, many of whom had risked their lives in the service of this nation. He deployed the United States military tear-gassing peaceful protesters in pursuit of a photo opportunity in the service of his re-election, even holding the Bible upside down. The action that led to an apology from the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and an outspoken denunciation of the use of military for domestic political purposes from scores, scores of former military leaders and secretaries of defense, led by Secretary Cheney. He thought he could stack the courts with friendly judges who would support him no matter what. They were Trump judges, his judges. He went so far as to say he needed nine justices on the Supreme Court because, because he thought the election would end up 
in the Supreme Court, and they would hand him the election. He was stunned, truly stunned, when the judges he appointed didn't do his bidding, instead acted with integrity, following the Constitution, upholding the rule of law, not just once or twice or three times, but over 60 times. Let me say over 60 times. In more than 60 cases, in state after state after state, and then at the Supreme Court's judges, including people considered, quote, his judges, Trump judges, use his words, looked at the allegations that Trump was making and determined they were without any merit. Nothing was judged to put this election in question or doubt by any of these judges. You want to understand the importance of democratic institutions in this country? Take a look at the judiciary in this nation. Take a look at the pressure it was just subjected to by a sitting president of the United States of America. At every level, the judiciary rose in the moment during this election, did its job, acted with complete fairness and impartiality, with complete honor and integrity. When history looks back in this moment that just, we've just passed through, I believe it will say our democracy survived in no small part because of the men and women who represent an independent judiciary in this nation. We owe them a deep, deep debt of gratitude. And then there's the attack on the Department of Justice. Treating the Attorney General as his personal lawyer and the Department as his personal law firm. Through it all, we would hear the same thing from the, this President. My generals, my judges, my Attorney General. And then yesterday, a culmination of an attack on our institutions of democracy. This time, the Congress itself, inciting a mob to attack the Capitol, to threaten elected representatives of the people of this nation, and even the Vice President, to stop the Congress from ratifying the will of the American people in a just completed free and fair election trying to use a mob to silence the voices of nearly 160 million Americans who summoned the courage in the face of a pandemic that threatened their health and their lives to cast that sacred ballot. I made it clear from the moment I entered this race that what I believe was at stake. I said there was nothing less at stake than who we are as a nation, what we stand for, what we believe, what we will be. At the center of that belief is one of the oldest principles this nation has long held. We are a government of laws, not of men, not of the people, of laws. I said it many times in the campaign. Our, dem our democratic institutions are not relics of another age. They're what sets this nation apart. They're the guardrails of our democracy. And there's no president. There's, that's why there is no president who is a king. No Congress that's a House of Lords. A judiciary doesn't serve the will of the president or exist to protect him or her. And Flaco Jimenez passes his recipes and taco truck onto his son. We get a sneak peek before the grand opening. It's time to head to the office. No, not your work office. It's a new restaurant you'll want to clock in for. Oh, that looks really good. <laughs> and hey, kick off your New Year diet with a juicy cleanse from a local juicery. Celebrate San Antonio. 
coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Sneak there. up on it right there. <laughs> look at that, a little slider mm. sloppy, Joe. Mm. Ooh, that looks With yummy. a twist. <laughs> With a twist? Yeah, that's not Delicious. the one that uh, mom used to make out there. Mm. A vegan sloppy joe. We're going to be sampling them in just a minute. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. I'm Jen Tobias Jeske filling in for Fiona. And with the new year, we're all trying to eat a little better, maybe work out. I've started meal prepping this week myself, so yeah. we're all trying, right, Mike? <laughs> yeah, well, th that's the thing, trying. But, you know, still it can be difficult coming off the holidays. I know that's all we did was eat and mm -hmm. all the sweets and picking like this. Yes. And, you know, because it's so easy to grab something, you know, like chips or the oh, sweet, yes. those favorite little of junk course. food things that you just crave, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which brings us to our question. <laughs> yes, what would you do if you could change that junk food that you love so much uh, and make it healthy? Which one would it be? For me, it's those salt and vinegar potato chips. Like I could eat the whole bag, but I have to, you know, stop myself, but those are so good if they Cape, were good for you. Cape Cod, yes. kettle cooked chips. Oh yeah. Those are delicious. Yes. It doesn't help when I have little ones like, Mom, where's our snacks? And they're all just staring at me like, try me. You know, a good thing, and I'm, we're going to get to this in a second <laughs> there, but we've got a, a, a big bag of mixed nuts left over from, uh, oh, that's yeah. a great handful because yes. it's a good fat and just to grab it, yes. you know, it's kind of satisfying a little mm -hmm. bit. But anyway, <laughs> we want to hear from you. We're hungry. And basically, it's what's your favorite <laughs> snack that would be, you could turn it into healthy. So that's going to be coming up. Let us know at SA Live Facebook, and hopefully we can uh, show those a little bit later on in the show. Speaking of of good things to eat. We have to head, oh, look at that. It looks just so yummy, yummy, yummy out here. And ben. we've got a couple of great tricks and twists and things that you need to know about cooking the perfect Sloppy Joe. Yes. And joining us right now is... Ben Cardenas with Tidy Ben's Sloppy Joe's. And I had to put my jacket on, it's a little chilly out here. And but... his name is Tidy Ben. Would your mother agree with that when <laughs> she looked back at your room when you were oh, in high absolutely school? Absolutely not, absolutely not. <laughs> definitely not. At least he's, he's honest. honest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and we are making Sloppy Joe's. So, what is the trick to making the perfect Sloppy Joe that is even perfect Sloppy Joe that's vegan? Absolutely, yes, you didn't mention the vegan thing. Uh, the perfect sloppy Joe, uh, delicious flavors from all over, from all over, uh, red bell pepper, onions, garlic, of course, garlic and everything. But you said uh, there's one little secret that you have to there, put in. There is one secret that I think a lot of people miss out on. It's a little tangy feature, mustard. Uh, really? we, we use mustard in ours. You can use mustard seed. We've used apple cider vinegar in the past, yeah. uh, or I've used apple cider vinegar mm -hmm. in the past. and uh, Well, that's the cool thing about your business is these are sloppy joes like you've never had. They all have a little twist, and then you have your original too, right? Yeah, there's the classic, uh, as you can see in front of you, there's a cayenne pepper and cumin. We do a fiesta as well. Uh, so it's gonna have a little bit of spice in it. We do a pizza sloppy, we do pizza. a barbecue sloppy, we do a curry sloppy as well. Well, I'll tell you what, if you can put a little bit of the sauce in those bowls for each of us, and then yes. we're gonna mix some of this up. And for if you sure. can see, this looks absolutely delicious here. All of this beautiful, now, and this is not ground beef. Thanks, it sir. is the... It is a soy-based uh, protein crumble uh, that has all the consistency and protein. Mm -hmm that is in uh, uh, what you would uh, find in uh, ground meat. And all the, and you've got red bell pepper, green, green bell, bell pepper, pepper, onions. White onion, red onion, garlic, uh, uh, chili powder, mm -hmm. cumin, cayenne, a little bit of liquid aminos. Now, as far as the consistency, I, and I don't, I know you've been, how much of this should I put into here approximately? Uh, well, yeah, that's a, for, for a couple of sloppies, yeah. that's, a, that's about the amount. Because you don't want it to be like, Chili. Oh, oh, for the whole oh, thing, we're putting that whole thing in there. Oh, we're yeah. putting this whole thing in there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe even just a little. Because it's got it's to be enough to kind of pack. It's got to be enough to pack, not enough to slop too much, and not falling apart as okay. well. Okay. Okay. Uh, but it's got to be sloppy enough to. Oh, of course. Qualify so as a sloppy joke. So Mike has the original joke. over there, and I have the. You have the fiesta. Fiesta. Yeah. The little kick. So we had a Thought little bit of kick. And you're gonna grab a scoop and cook that up for us, right? Absolutely. Could hear the sizzle. Ooh, that sounds really, really tasty. So, what else at your uh, at your place, which you uh, are going to be opening a brick and mortar, we, right? We are opening uh, something. Uh, we we built out a structure mm -hmm. uh, in Southtown. Um, right now, we are in pop up mode, but um, 
Yeah, we were doing ghost kitchens for a while. And, Can you uh, explain what that is? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ghost kitchens. Uh, so working out of uh, commercial kitchens without a storefront. Yeah. So uh, okay. we're basically, uh, I was thinking about it even like, oh, well, how do you really describe it? It's like the heart of a restaurant without the actual storefront. So we okay. were doing delivery pickup uh, at, a, at a couple of places in town. And uh, now, um, look for us fe early February. Oh, oh we, we need a bun. We need a bun. <laughs> yes, it's yes, over there. Yes, Sorry me, about that. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Let me uh, stick this. Would you say that vegan just right now is really popular, right? Like just kind of the trend of going vegan. And vegan. So many different ways to do it, even. Yes, yes, and uh, that's one of the that's one of the things about the sloppy Joe. Uh, it's a great. How do you call? Um, oh man, I've done this. It's all right. That's okay. We, you know what? I like what you said, though. You know, it doesn't have to be, too, even though it's called a sloppy joe, you don't want it like leaking everywhere. <laughs> and know? that one ended up leaking everywhere. And, and you also said that pickles are a, a uh, must when absolute. it comes to, uh, to sloppy joe. Yes, absolutely. So let me get you how it's supposed to look. <laughs> Okay. So I'm excited about learning everything that you're showing us because my oh, son kind of loves Sloppy Joes. So now moving forward, I'll try maybe adding in a few more things because I never added like even just adding in some veggies for him. Even. Right, 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 right. Yeah, everyone thinks tomato sauce, tomato paste, because of course you should. The traditional, right? Of course, uh -huh. yes. Uh, and this is, uh, I would say, How the help. It? What's your favorite, Ben? My favorite is the curry. Mm. We did not feature the curry. Mm. That's, that's a little scary for some people, but mm. overall, uh, that just has so much flavor. It's a little bit different. Yeah, there's a little bit of spice involved. Curry is my favorite, or Thai is my favorite food. So this is obviously okay. a passion for you. <laughs> yes, cooking in general. I, I've <laughs> only only recently have I found out that this is uh, my love language. We'll go with that. A little bit of love language. Vegan or not, that's a tasty little snack. Mm. It's, it goes over. It goes over really well. Mm. Goes over, but, the, but the problem with the us. sliders is it's not like one. So you eat about three or four, and then you go, huh? It's just small ones, and then you're too full because it's really tasty. Ben, thank you very much. My That's absolute delicious. pleasure. For more information on Ben's uh, Tidy Ben Sloppy Joe's, salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much. Not only this business, but in 2021, of course, we want to help support and find more great local businesses to check out. Yes, there's one down in Pleasanton. We got to go check that one out. And let me tell you, it, it gives new meaning to the saying, oh, I'm just at the office, right? <laughs> <This> <laughs> Take a look. A You'll story. see what I mean. <laughs> going to the office, you may not think comfort food, cocktails, and casual dining, but stop into Pleasanton's office bar and grill. The owners and his wife were kind of joking with one another and they wanted a place here in town that they could visit and if somebody called and made a phone call, well, when we answered the phone, we would say, oh, well, we're at the office. So if the boss was looking for an employee, we would say that they were at the office. It's American food and um, it's comfort food. We have country fried steaks and we have burgers, of course. Uh, we do have a few Mexican dishes on our, on our menu, uh, our fresh chicharron, and uh, we have some awesome margaritas. So yes, it's a lot of everything. And wait for it. These chicharrones are so fresh, they are popping. A full menu of comfort food, but one of the more unique menu items, this right here, it's crawfish tails battered in Captain Crunch. Yes, Captain Crunch. All right, here we go. Mmm. Ooh, I taste it. I love them. Well, it's worth it to come out here because we have entertainment Friday and Saturday, and it's absolutely free. We do have a Jenga outside for the family. We have outdoor seating with lots of social distancing. As you can see, plenty of space, like she said, where the kids can run around out here. You can enjoy a drink, maybe with friends. After all, you are at the office, so why not enjoy it? The pandemic has pushed them to get creative, adding monthly mixers for reserved guests with a full fun experience. And we're just trying to generate food sales and also a little bit of alcohol sales in that. Uh, we do limit it to 30 people. Um, we do do the social distancing for the tables and we do no more than 10 a table. And this month they're doing a Micha Margarita Mixer complete with tacos, quesadillas, chicharrones with a queso topped with chorizo, tres leches cake, and of course, cocktails too. And for that, let's head to the bar. Hi, I'm Debbie Orduna. I'm uh, one of the managers here at the Office Bar and Grill, and I also bartend. And we'll be having a mixer at the end of the month on the 31st. 
and we'll be serving uh, micheladas with your choice of uh, Dos Equis, Modelo, or Corona. And we'll also be featuring our fresh margarita and watermelon margarita. We have a bartender that's hosting the event, and so they'll go around to the tables and they'll demonstrate how to mix everything together. With my own recipe. Comfort food, delicious drinks, and if you do decide to come out here to the Michi Margarita Mixer, this is what you get to take home with you. Isn't this awesome? You get a nice goodie bag with all the things you need to make your own cocktails. And yes, you can learn how to do that from the comfort of your table while you're enjoying the mixer. Cheers to that. And to, for more information on the office, head to salive.com. Click the As Seen on the SA Live tab. Cheers. All right, they also have breakfast, by the way. They open at 7 a.m. Now, if you want to be part of this mixer, there's only 20 slots left, $60 a person. That includes the three courses, three cocktails that pair with each meal, and that gift bag that you just saw. And, you know, also like a bartender class because the bartender stands off to the side and, and tells you how to make these cocktails. Pretty cool. I love the fact that you're, you're not really telling a fib if you say you're at the office. <laughs> Again, I love that, That's too. what people think. <laughs> yeah, and it does look like an office building. <laughs> So. so it's kind of implied, but you never said it, yeah. that you were at that office, not <laughs> this office. So hey, head over to our website for a link on salive.com. Uh, salive.com, easy for me to say. And, uh, <laughs> you can find a link to their website. <laughs> Click on the SNL and Live tab, too. Hey, multi-Grammy uh, winning artist and Tejano legend, Flaco Jimenez hands the taco food truck keys off to his son, and we get a first look at all these delicious recipes. And next on the show, a local cosmetics line tells us what is trending in 2021. You're at the office, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Beautiful day out there with that wind blowing, a great January afternoon. Welcome back, everyone. Well, local cosmetics line, Elsewhere Cosmetics, is making a difference in the beauty industry with all the eclectic styles and color diversities. Yes, owner Millie Monreal welcomes all enthusiasts, makeup lovers, right here. Uh, and she's going to help us out today because she's showing us the current and future trends. Take a look. Happy New Year, everyone. It is 2021. It is time to celebrate. We've made it past 2020 and we're here. Let's go ahead and get into our makeup trends. So Patone released its color of the year. It actually turned out to be two complementing colors, one being illuminating, which is a nice yellow. And we have ultimate gray. Both together are going to give a message of strength and enduring while also uplifting. So with that being said, you can see my makeup today. <laughs> and let's go ahead and uplift and just send out these colors. It's also a nice bright. So how can we add this to our makeup routine? Well, by giving pops of yellow. Also in your fashion or anywhere you see it in the house as well, maybe lemons or um, also grays, like the painting on the wall. And as you can see here, it can go on to lipstick. So it is an awesome, awesome duo. And I think Patone did a really good job on this year's color of the year. All right, colors that are going to be taking us from winter into the spring. Right now we're looking at our florals, our baby pinks, our baby blues, almost like pastels. And then we're going to also transition with almost like a auburn type of color. Um, and also our creams. So those are gonna be those neutrals that are sticking with us from the winter on into the spring time. There is no one way to put on makeup, but there is a safe way to put on makeup. And we always need to maintain our skin under the makeup because that is our foundation point. With that being said, the winter can bring some harsh, dry air to our skin, drying it out. We always want to make sure that we're moisturizing and using the best skin products that also um, continue to hydrate and make sure to eat right because no matter the makeup that we put on, we always gotta maintain our skin under it. So we all can agree that in the year 2020, we spent a lot of time inside. And with 2021, I believe that this year it's going to be reclaiming, rediscovering, and also um, recovery, and also restoring. With that being said, 
I predict that we're going to get into more looks that we didn't do before. So um, we're gonna try that new hair color. We're gonna try that new bold lip, new techniques with makeup, spend more time with self care. And with that, I believe we're gonna go, we're gonna push the boundaries. We're gonna push what we uh, normally do and also do it in ways of efficiency because it is the year 2021. Elsewhere Cosmetics was created in May 2019, where our mission is to produce attainable, innovative cosmetics for the underdogs and also makeup enthusiasts. We pride ourselves in uh, philanthropy as well as giving back to the community that gives back to us. So we are very San Antonio based, but we do give outside of that space. In the year 2021, we're happy to say that we're going to be giving more into entrepreneurship where we are now donating a portion of our profits throughout the year into um, other endeavors. So we're going to invest back into the community that invested in us. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Elsewhere Cosmetics, E-L-S-E-W-E-A-R cosmetics and millie monreal m-i-l-l-i-e m-o-n-r-e-a-l for more information on elsewhere cosmetics go to www.elsewherecosmetics.com great cosmetics but what she just said there we're going to invest back into the community yes. that invested in us you see that which is beautiful thing circle about, there yeah supporting local because everybody yes. kind of keeps it right yes. here all together we love you by the way she's great <laughs> Support those local businesses for more information at salive.com and just click the as seen on SA Live tab. All right, a new taco truck, and this one has quite a good reputation. Food truck with roots in Tejano Ooh, music. There's some manudo. Mm. All right, and if you're looking to maybe start that juice cleanse, we got the perfect place for you. That's coming up next after the break. Welcome back, everyone. I tell you what, we have got the greatest audience. <laughs> Look at hey, they they don't even, their lips aren't even moving, and they're, and they're cheering for it right now. <laughs> oh, that's what I hear. Oh yeah, and they're good. They How that happen? <laughs> Don't mind us. <laughs> we entertain ourselves. So, hey, in the new year, new you, or new year in the new you, uh, a lot of folks may be trying to uh, kind of get healthy with a juice cleanse. Yes, and why not support a local business while you're at it? Jew Juice, cold pressed juice, is located off Broadway and they offer the juices, the bowls, smoothies, all the good stuff. Take a look. <laughs> We started Juju back in 2016 from our from our kitchen. So I just bought a, a, a juicer and with the first juice, I, I fell in love with with uh, juicing and, and drinking. Like actually, like my first juice was a green juice. So I have never tried a green juice before. So it was uh, just uh, a, a great feeling for me. Little by little, selling to our uh, to our friends and family, and then we started on Facebook. So from there, we open a, a location in, in Laredo, Texas, and that was back in like three years ago, back in 2017, and and now we we open here in San Antonio because um, we we saw an opportunity in this area where it was a. Uh, there, there was no like uh, juice shops uh, around. Yes, like if you're looking for like some new trends and um, and like a way of uh, getting your nutrient intake, I would say like drinking a, a green juice or a, a fresh uh, pressed juice every two days. I mean, it's, I would say like you're you're good like. You don't need to like, uh, and, and probably it will be like bad for business, but you don't need to drink them, you know, every day, but like every two days having a juice. I mean, it's, it's just like having like a big bowl of salad. Another item that we offer at Juju Juice is uh, the protein and uh, fruit smoothies. Uh, if you're looking like, let's say for a meal replacement or just your, your protein intake, uh, the protein smoothies will be great. Those are made with uh, non-dairy uh, milks and also with plant-based uh, like proteins. They're really, really good. Like for a meal replacement, I would say that the Blue Magic, uh, that one has a, the Blue Magic that is like a blue spirulina, super rare, uh, super food. Uh, it has also banana, pineapple, 
It has some um, uh, almond milk, the almond butter, and, and the vanilla protein. That, that is great for any like meal replacement or also your, your protein intake. At Juju's, uh, we also uh, offer some smoothie bowls. Uh, we have different bases for our smoothie bowls. We have acai, we have pitaya, blue magic, uh, white coconut, and also uh, matcha. And basically, you can create your own uh, your own bowl choosing your three fruits, uh, uh, two superfoods, your your type of granola. We we offer a, a vegan version of the granola, and also if you want any spreads like a Nutella, we have Nutiva that is the, the, the vegan version of, of, of Nutella and uh, we also have some peanut butters the, our peanut butters are, are house made so um, they they are they are great uh, we also have some almond butter that is also house made and those it doesn't have any like hidden ingredients it's also uh, made with um, with the superfoods or, or spreads that, that, that everybody loves um, please, San Antonio, make this new, new, new coming year uh, or this year um, better by supporting like lo local businesses and local products. You can go to uh, jujusjuice.com. Also, you can find us on, on Instagram at uh, jujusjuicery. Stay healthy, San Antonio. So, what do you describe it as? Like eating a big salad by drinking yeah. one of these things? Yeah, salad in a Which jar. Which one do you have? Well, I'm going in, and because of my son, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Hulk, right? That's what oh, I was thinking of when you yes. picked it too, because of Just your for son. you, right, right. And I've got the 10 carat, which is uh, carrot, apple, cider, or carrot, apple, mm. ginger, pineapple, mm. and orange. It all, you know, all the good stuff. Mmm, I feel healthier well, that's, <laughs> already. You know, that's really tasty because it doesn't, sometimes uh, really healthy juice drinks taste like health. Drinks. I know. And this tastes like just good juice yeah, or something. Yeah, this is so. good stuff here. And Ooh. then this one is the mellow yellow with pineapple and chia seeds and apple. But we'll save that one for somebody else here. Delicious. Now, Ooh. if you want more information on Jujus, just head to essaylive.com. Click the As Seen on Essay Live tab where we provided their link. All right. Still ahead. Easy to make low calorie cocktails to keep you on your new diet. And if you want to have a cheat meal, <laughs> it's a taco truck revival that took 20 years. The Texas, Texas music legend Flaco Jimenez is handing over the torch. Our David Elder giving us a sneak peek after the break. And there's a very familiar <laughs> face. Yep. That is the one, the only Flaco Jimenez when he was at the uh, band festival over there at Alamo wow. Stadium a couple of years ago. And his son of the multi Grammy winning yeah. Flaco yes. Jimenez is <laughs> opening, or should we say, Reopening, reopening, yes. A food truck. Yes, to be clear, Flaco himself had this truck about 20 years ago. Now, handing over the torch to his son. Now, if you're a fan of the Conjunto Tejano Tex Mex music that just makes you smile, and you know, when you hear it, uh, then I think you'll want to go check this out. This is called Tacos Jimenez, and of course, our foodie David Elder had to go yep. check it out. Take a look. When you're on the south side of San Antonio and you want to go somewhere that has traditional Mexican food, but you can also go somewhere that has potentially one of the coolest Tejano music icons ever, well, por que no los dos? You can have them both right here at Tacos Jimenez. Let's go inside and see what they got on the menu. Joining me now is Leonardo Jimenez III, and in front of us is a bunch of delicious food at your food truck that's just about to come out. This is the hot new thing of 2021, right? Oh yeah, this is the <laughs> best thing that ever happened to me. There you go. <laughs> and you know, we gotta talk about it. I mean, your dad, he's internationally known, uh, the Texas Tornadoes, Flaco Jimenez, he's incredible. But what was it like growing up with him, and what drove you to do food and not the music stuff? Well, it's hard. it was hard. We were, uh, we were raised by my mom. My, my dad was always on the road. Um, my mom was um, we're Mexican. I mean, she's from Monterrey, Monterrey Mexico. Uh -huh. So I learned a lot about uh, their food, the recipes, um, what have you. And I guess, I mean, people got to eat. 
So I said, you know what, let's give it a shot. Joining me now is Leonardo's father. This is Flaco Jimenez, the man himself. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, glad to be here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a nice day. It's a gorgeous yeah. day. How are you guys? <laughs> and I, we wanted to talk with you because, um, of course, people know you. You're just a, a global icon for the music that you've created throughout the decades. But your son now has a food truck. Yes. And it's a really fun name because it's kind of playing off of off the Flaco, right? It's Taco Jimenez, right? So. What does that mean to you to be able to ha see your son go and, and open up his own food truck? And he said he modeled it after yeah. the food from his mother, your wife. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm really excited, really. Now this is, it's your son and your daughter-in-law, Gilda. They're the ones that are making all the food in the truck. Yes, they're, they're yeah. the ones that are in charge of, uh, of everything. Food, we have some of the food in front of us. It oh, looks yes, delicious. I, have you got to try any of it? No, I'm gonna hit it in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and, yeah, this uh, one, is, it's, it looks a little bit spicy. I'm excited to try that yeah. one. And this one is, I believe it's called the Flaco Taco. I believe that's oh, what it is. So I think so, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, but there's so many hits with the Texas tornadoes that are still resonating within our culture here in the United States, especially in South Texas. Yes. Which one is the one that's, that's stuck with you that you really enjoyed being a part of uh, when it was being written and when you would perform it? Say, hey, baby, que pasó? <laughs> I got a little bit. Hey, baby, que pasó? I know y'all know that, that song. Looks really you know, I love that they're they're bringing the flavors from Monterrey, Mexico. I just love all of that. Glad David got to go out there and Flaco. What an awesome guy! For more information on Taco Jimenez food truck, essaylive.com. Just click the as seen on the essay live tab. Those tacos line I up know. with that sauce on? And the menudo, I know you love menudo, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that I now fan up with those tacos. I want to try those tacos. I like to give him so. hard time. All right, coming up. You know, skinny sips, we'll call them that, in 2021, low-calorie cocktails that are quick and really easy to make. We're going to taste them next. Mm. Hey, San Antonio. Hey, baby, que pasó? You're watching SA Live. Welcome back. Well, how about something uh, a little on the, the adult side as far as beverages are concerned? And we have to say good afternoon to our good friend Nick Spink from Artisan Distillery. It's been a while, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. And first of all, what drink am I going to be making? Then we're going to talk about your little name change that's been going on there. We so. have a blood orange martini, which is really good, especially because blood orange is in season right now. Okay. Really, really nice and refreshing. Why, why use blood orange instead of it has a, a great orange. refreshing flavor. It's really, really light and stuff, and it's the color is awesome on it. Okay. So all we're doing is squeezing some blood orange into there, uh, doing a lemon infusion uh, that we make. It's really light on uh, sugar Nothing and much. a little bit more. A little, little bit more. more okay. And you can also do this uh, on the light side too, right? The light side. We, you can actually make that low calorie now, um, about a four count on the, uh, on the vodka. Uh, you can make that low calorie by doing uh, like stevia, squeezing lemon in there with that little bit of uh, water and then squeezing the blood orange in. Okay. And then just and pour it into pour a nice in. classic martini yep. glass. So, and you have and are in the process of moving, right? We're in the process of moving. We're opening the first weekend of February over on 402 Austin Street. So only about two blocks from where our current location. And we're actually adding a restaurant too. So we have a brewery, a distillery, and a restaurant now. Ooh, so you can go there for dinner and have cocktails and, and do all that. Exactly. So, all right, next, we are going to make a little bit of a lemon and lime, squeezing in yep. there with that. Basically, it's a, like a vodka uh, margarita. And this we're doing on the light side, so we're doing a zero calorie uh, lemon drink. Okay. Uh, some spike vodka, it's made out of prickly pear cactus. And you're the only and one that makes prickly pear cactus. We're right? the only one that makes that, mixes that, yes. Okay. So we make that by hand here in San Antonio. So all at my distillery. So go ahead and pour the ice in there too. On oh, that. okay. So, Really nice, refreshing, really light. It's great, uh, even when we're a little cool out here and stuff. So, About how many calories do you save by doing it this way? Uh, doing it that way, there's you're only getting from the vodka, there's only about 70 calories. Now, a lot of margaritas have like 
six or seven hundred. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, goodness. There's a gracious. lot of sugar in uh, most <laughs> margaritas. All right. The next one. This sounds like something that you wouldn't want to put over. You got those giant ice cubes in there, but yep. that could be a good warm drink too. You, this could be a good warm drink. Now, this is one of our whiskey drinks. So we are using the, a pecan aged whiskey that we make on site. It's called Pecan Ridge. Pecan aged. Pecan aged. Actually, in the barrel, I put staves and the nut of pecan into the barrel and let it age for two years. So it has a nice dry back note to it. Really? So, so on the drink here, well, you, okay. you tell me. That, right. Try that. So uh, on the drink though, I'm doing a salted caramel old fashioned, which is maple syrup, salted caramel, and the whiskey. That does have that, yeah, It's because you take a second and go, what is different about this? It's a, it's a dry, this woody whiskey. back note. It's, yeah. it's, it's not emulating a pecan praline. Okay. And you said this is like the classic old-fashioned, except you're using it with the maple syrup. And maple syrup and the, um, okay. and the salted caramel. Mm. So it's a light, refreshing drink. Oh, that is good. <laughs> and yeah, and you could warm that up too. You can warm that up. Now, but don't like you, warm it up too hot because the alcohol will evaporate off. And then so, you just have a nice sweet drink after nice that. Drink. So, and last but not least, something to make with, uh, with some suds. So we can't forget our beer people. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a beer that we uh, do. We do a, um, a light beer here, and I'm squeezing some fresh orange in there, and then also some pineapple. So oh, wow. okay. it's a nice mix there. And we are a brewery Salute. now, and we, we make a, a blonde, and we also make a uh, Bach. Oh, that's got a real nice refreshing. It, nice citrus refreshing thing. We also infuse mm. that, uh, our light beer, with uh, Tamarindo, and we do a couple other interesting mixes with it too. Okay, and folks can buy some of your spirits and beer at your place? At my place, you can buy my spirits, you can buy uh, the vodka and stuff, and the whiskey by the bottle. Also, it's available at Total Wine and More. Okay. The beer, we only have on tap at the current time. And then, like you said, you've got to, you, some food at the we new, food. We're gonna have some so, food at the new place First too, weekend so. of February, we are going to be opening up and we have a great bat patio for our brunches and outside, enjoy the outside. Sounds fantastic. Well, good seeing you as great usual. You. Thanks for bringing the bar like he always does. And if you'd like more information on Artisan Distillery, just head over to our website, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Cheers, sir. Hey, next, how you can win a free cup of coffee from Circle K. Have we got deals for you? Welcome to KZDeals.com. I'm excited to share this next product that makes you feel and look your very best. The amazing face serum that is a breakthrough formula. Now this helps to plump, lift, and firm your skin. And I hear it may be the secret that celebrities use as well. The Bee Venom 24 Karat Gold Serum. Now it's an organic alternative to Botox, proven to visibly reduce fine lines. It refines the skin surface and boosts moisture and long lasting hydration. Helps to produce crucial skin hydration acids and oil for a radiant complexion. Now the caffeine in here helps to reduce the puffy eyes, which gives you that youthful glow. Now the retail price for this, $304. The case at deals price, $29.95. That's a 90% discount. You can get this deal along with many others at KSETDeals.com. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, there is nothing like starting off the morning with a nice piping hot cup of fresh ground coffee. And what makes it even better? <laughs> It's free. Free, keyword free. Yes, it is. And to start the new year off right, Circle K is giving away free coffee and they also have these new cups. And Very they nice. have a lot of different tasty flavors too, like house blend, hazelnut, Texas pecan, Colombian, and of course, decaf. And if you need a pick me up in the afternoon, they have iced coffee in all of those yummy flavors too. And we love all the creamer flavors like the French vanilla, Irish cream, just to name a few. And you can also favor it to your house. Remember when we did that, Mike? Oh, yeah. So here's how you get your free coffee. Just join the Circle K Coffee Loyalty Club and you'll get your sixth cup of coffee free. Every cup is ground fresh only at Circle K. And speaking of free, Mike, are they still doing that? Free gas for a year, is it? Free gas, um, yes. Good morning, they, San Antonio. They indeed uh -huh. they are. So watch GMSA on KSAT every day. I do. It's a great show <laughs> at 6 a.m. to find the secret word of the that day. Weather guy and knows. go to KSAT.com slash circle K to enter for your chance to win free gas for a year 
from That's awesome. Circle K. I would love that. And you know what? Me too. All the driving. Yeah. Going back and forth. Yes. And the free cup of coffee too. Oh yeah. That's not Cheers bad. to that. A little, little fuel in your tank there. So <laughs> hey, tomorrow on SA Live, we're ending the first full week of the new year with a pizza party. Yay. Uh, you can get this mobile pizza kitchen to your home. Ooh, ooh, that looks good. Plus our first real San Antonian of 2021 will share a doctor who's using his art skills to help pay for his patient's medical costs. This one will tug at the heart. That and much more tomorrow, 1 o'clock on SA Live. Which junk food would you make healthy? Tammy says chocolate. Yeah. But a little bit of dark chocolate's not bad right. for you. Right. Yes. All of the above. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Tacos. Lisa says tacos. Okay. I wonder which taco she's talking about. Any of them. I'm hungry. <laughs> and enjoy, savor them all. Okay. I, I you only live it. once. Yeah. That is true. Uh, I have to pick out pizza. One of the best. Lots of. See, I'm not yeah. a on that. But our, our director over here, Patrick, just said pizza too. Good one. All right. We will see you back here tomorrow. Speaking of pizza, mobile pizza. Oh, yeah.